other people. I was just coming at you with a video. And uh, I guess I just want to give y'all a little sneak peek behind the scenes of this video right here. Because I know y'all going to like it. Well, I know y'all like it because you already watch it. And I'm just adding this commentary part at the end just to let you know what's happening. And I'll put this together. And when I put it together and stuff like that. I gotta be. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and I don't think y'all gonna believe it, but I started learning how to edit. <sighs> I don't know. I I started edit started learning to edit in uh, two days ago, and I already put together a nice vid like this. I can't believe it, man. It's just it's a true testament of showing you know passion for something and just sheer boredom really this is why I, I started to learn uh i was like you know what i'm gonna try to learn how to edit you know i'm gonna see if i can put together nice vids like people on youtube like uh bang for buck pc gamer and stuff like that i don't know if i'd be on his level or the other people that i watch who make gameplay videos and compilations and stuff like that but for my first serious vid, I think I did pretty good. I mean, if y'all have any suggestions or anything I can improve on, like did I do too many cuts and edits or something like that, that or did I not do enough cuts, you know, to shorten down the video. But I didn't want to short down the video too far because I already did that with one video where I was showing the performance of my CPU alone. Where it was a, a video on my channel called the FX6300 at 4.9 benchmarks. I thought that video was, when I was editing it, I thought it was a lot longer than what it actually came out to be. Because I was trying to make it long, but not too long. But I ended up editing, over editing it and making it really short. And I, and I kind of learned from that. And uh, I made an intro, I made a video showing my intro when I just started learning to make my intro with a, <laughs> a copyrighted song in there from 50 Cent that I really liked. I probably shouldn't have put that in there, but I'm not too worried about it. If they flag the video, I'll just take it down because I already made my intro, my real intro that I'm going to use with the non-copyrighted music. But yeah, man, I can't believe I learned how to edit this good in two days. It's crazy, man. Uh, but yeah, but you see right here, I had picked out the videos. It took about two hours to do that. And uh, staying up all night playing video games with my brother. And then the breaks between playing video games with my brother because he's off of work right now. Uh, editing the video I the video had actually kept getting corrupted on my system to be honest with you it kept getting corrupted for some reason but um, yeah I freaking finally got it through and it stopped corrupting on me and uh, yeah but it took me a while to learn how to fade the uh, audio together making the cuts for this like the footage is easy but the fading the audio that was kind of a bit of a learning curve that was kind of hard and uh because um the songs that i picked were kind of not long enough for the video so i had to at the end of the video like at lord's croft's part like the lord croft rise of the tomb raider that's where the songs began to not be long enough so I had to blend this one song that I like from no copyright and songs channel I had to blend it together and stuff and I think I did a good job of blending it together to the point that it was like uh, it almost seemed like it was a part of the song but yeah I don't like how they the song that I use at the end of the video how it ends it just ends abruptly and I the person who did that didn't edit that right I'm not saying they bad or anything like that cuz I just started editing but they could have faded it out a little bit better 
and I had to do that myself. I had to fade it in and in and out, make it as when she's uh, falling in the water, make it a little bit more dramatic. And uh, I started running out of footage, and I wanted to make the video a little bit longer, so I threw on that Steam VR benchmark, which that benchmark is total trash. That's not really representative of what VR would really would be because the R9 380 has no chance of running VR stably at good settings but I thought I'd just throw that in there for kicks I guess but uh, yeah I wanted to say thanks for watching give you a little sneak peek, sneak peek behind the scenes I'm gonna start making more videos like this I'm gonna do some when I get Battlefield 4 for a PC Cause I got it on PS4, but I'm gonna get it for PC. I'm gonna do some benchmarks on that too. I don't know if I'm gonna heavily edit it like this, but yeah, when I get it, I'll do some benchmarks on it and edit it pretty good. But uh, as always, thanks for watching.